Hey everyone. Well, you know the nice weather is coming and I thought the perfect book to read about when we're getting all this nice weather is about ice cream because I love eating ice cream in sunny weather. So today we get to read Ice Cream, The Full Scoop by Gail Gibbons. Ice Cream, The Full Scoop by Gail Gibbons. Ice cream cones, ice cream bars, ice cream sodas. Ice cream is a frozen treat made mostly of cream, milk, sugar, and flavorings. Almost everyone loves to eat sweet, cold ice cream. No one really knows how or when the first ice cream was made. Some believe that people mixed snow, milk, and rice together in China about 3,000 years ago. About 700 years ago, a famous Italian trader, Marco Polo, came home from China bringing recipes for flavored ices. Chefs for European royalty experimented with new combinations of icy treats. Finally, cream was added, and there was a new dessert we now call ice cream. About 300 years ago, the British brought ice cream recipes to the American colonies. Ice cream was made by shaking the icy mixture in a special pan for a long time. Only the wealthy were served ice cream because it was so difficult to get ice to make it. About 250 years ago, some Americans started harvesting ice from ponds and lakes in the winter. It was stored in ice houses and also shipped to the south. Now people could make ice cream year round. It was served only at special events. The Ice Cream Maker In 1841, a woman from New Jersey named Nancy Johnson invented the hand crake ice cream maker, also called an ice cream freezer. Now ice cream could be made a lot faster just by turning a crank. Ice chips were placed in the outside chamber. Salt was added to the ice to make it melt into slush. And then this is the inside chamber. And the ice cream mixture was poured into the inside chamber. An ice cream mixture was made up of cream, sugar, or honey, and flavorings such as strawberries or peaches. The ice cream maker became very popular. It took only one hour to churn the ice cream mixture into creamy ice cream. The crank turned the dasher in the inside chamber to stir the ice cream mix. This is the lid. Scrapers removed ice crystals that formed on the inside chamber wall. They mixed in with the ice cream mixture, making the texture a little grainy. The dasher also stirred lots of air into the mix. The tiny air bubbles made the mixture softer and lighter. Because air was added, one gallon of ice cream mix made about two gallons of ice cream. Throughout the 1800s, people held ice cream socials. This became a popular way to entertain friends. Everyone took turns cranking the ice cream maker. Then they shared the ice cream. Two of the earliest flavorings for ice cream were vanilla and chocolate. Vanilla flavoring was made from powdered vanilla beans and chocolate flavoring was made from powdered cocoa beans. To the ice cream mix, people added blueberries, raspberries, maple syrup, whatever flavor they wanted. Some people still enjoy using ice cream makers to make their favorite ice cream. The ice cream business. Cows. It all still begins at the dairy farm. The cows are milked twice a day. Some cows, such as Jersey cows, give creamier milk than others. So there's the pump line, the cup, and the milk line. The milk is piped into a cooling tank. The milk is kept cool so it won't spoil. The milk is kept at about 40 degrees Fahrenheit. A truck comes to the dairy farm. The milk is pumped into the tank of the truck where it is still kept cool. Milk is delivered to the ice cream factory. Other trucks are there too. Some hold liquid sugar. Other trucks deliver many products that make up the different flavors of ice cream. So there's a liquid sugar in here and milk in there. At the factory, the milk is put into a separator. This is where the cream and milk are separated from each other. So it goes through this whole milk line into the separator, and then it comes out cream line and milk line. Cream, milk, and liquid sugar are put into a large vat. Then stabilizers and emulsifiers are added. All these ingredients are mixed together. Sometimes egg yolks are added to make the ice cream creamier. This is the blade that's mixing. 
Stabilizers will keep ice cream from forming icy, lumpy crystals that would make the texture of the ice cream grainy. They also help keep the ice cream from melting too fast. Emulsifiers will keep the ice cream texture smooth. Then the mixture is put into a pasteurizer. Here, the mix is heated to kill any harmful bacteria. This is called pasteurization. The temperature inside the pasteurizer gets up to about 170 degrees Fahrenheit. Louis Pasteur, the inventor, invented pasteurization in the 1860s. Next, the mixture flows into a homogenizer, which breaks down any small particles of butterfat. The homogenizer forces the mixture through tiny valves under high pressure, which makes the mixture smooth. Butterfat is the fat in milk. Now it is time for the mix to be cooled. It is moved to a cooler and stays there for a few hours. The temperature inside the cooler is about 40 degrees Fahrenheit, which makes the mixture firmer. Then the thick mixture is pumped into a freezer. Inside the freezer, blades spin around, forcing air into the ice cream mix, making it softer and smoother. The mixture expands or gets bigger as the air is pumped into it. Now the ice cream goes into different vats for flavoring. There is vanilla, chocolate, mint, and many other flavors. Often fruits, nuts, raisins, or other foods are added to make different flavors and kinds of ice creams. Now we have ice cream that is very similar to the ice cream made in the first ice cream makers. The different flavored ice creams are sent to their packing areas. Then containers move along in an assembly line. When each container stops, a dispenser fills it up and packs it down with soft, tasty ice cream. So the dispenser is putting the ice cream into them and then this is putting the lids on. The packaged ice cream is moved to a freezer room. Inside the room, it is very cold, about negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. The ice cream becomes hard and firm. It is time for the ice cream to be shipped to stores or other places where it will be sold to customers. The ice cream is moved onto refrigerated trucks that are very cold inside. People buy ice cream at so many different places. Some people order ice cream in restaurants and buy it at ice cream stands. There are ice cream trucks and carts too. Most people buy ice cream at their grocery store. Ice cream can be sold in many different containers. It is available without sugar too. Three common containers are the pint, the quart, and the half gallon. In 1904, at the St. Louis World's Fair, an ice cream vendor ran out of paper cups to scoop ice cream into. A waffle maker in the next booth offered him some of his waffles. The ice cream vendor rolled a waffle into a cone shape and put a scoop of ice cream in it. It was the beginning of the ice cream cone. Ice cream can be enjoyed as many different treats. An ice cream sandwich is ice cream between two cookies. An ice cream soda is ice cream scooped into soda water. A banana split is a banana cut in half with scoops of ice cream on top and flavored syrup poured on top. An ice cream sundae is scoops of ice cream covered with chocolate syrup, caramel sauce, or other kinds of toppings. An ice cream bar is a bar of ice cream with a coating on it. Usually it has a wooden stick so it can be held. Pie a la mode is a scoop of ice cream served with a slice of pie. And an ice cream cake is a special dessert served for special occasions. It is ice cream formed to look like a cake. There are all kinds of ways to eat ice cream. The end.